This is Seven National News and in our top story. With nearly 260,000 Gazan civilians in more than 90 UN shelters, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, has ordered the resumption of flights to help supply UNWRA, the World Food Programme, World Health Organization and other aid agencies that are struggling to help the victims of the Israeli assault on Gaza. 17 flights have already been dispatched from Dubai using a combination of Boeing 747s and C-130s transporting food, blankets, kitchen sets and medicine and hygiene kits. As Dubai's international humanitarian city restocks its supplies, a Boeing 747 from Dubai has been sent to Brindisi in Italy, which is the site of the United Nations' second largest humanitarian depot after Dubai, to collect 30,000 blankets and deli deliver them to Amman in Jordan for shipment by truck to Gaza. With this 18th flight, the total operational cost has climbed to 23.3 million dirhams. In addition, last week, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed ordered the dispatch of 100,000 meals under the Salma initiative. The United Nations World Food Programme announced that it has made significant progress over the last few weeks by delivering more food to people in Syria during July this year. According to the WFP, food assistance reached a total of 3.7 million people in Syria and is an increase in the number of people reached in June, which was around 3.4 million due to improved access through cross-line and cross-border food deliveries. More than 300,000 people in the besieged and hard-to-reach areas have received WFP food through cross-line convoys in July, double the number of people reached using cross-line convoys in June. The organization further revealed that security challenges have continued to hinder WFP's ability to deliver food and the organization remained over half a million short of its goal of reaching 4.25 million people. It was further revealed that the WFP needs to raise 35 million US dollars every week to meet the food demands of families affected by the conflict in Syria and for the refugees currently residing in the neighboring countries. Dubai police announced that they have suspended the driving licenses of 879 motorists in the first half of 2014 after they were involved in deadly accidents and drink driving. The number in first half of 2014 is nearly 16% higher than in same period of 2013 when 732 licenses were suspended. Police figures showed that the traffic court handled 3,700 cases in the first half compared with 3,532 cases in the first half of last year. They also revealed that 50 of those drivers were found guilty of causing accidents that resulted in deaths and injuries, which is an increase of 21.9% over the same period of 2013. According to local reports, traffic police prosecutor Salah Al-Falasi was quoted as saying that 529 drivers had their licenses suspended in the first half of 2014, after they were found to be driving under the influence of alcohol. A total of 879 driving licenses were suspended in the first half of this year, an increase of 16.3% over the same period of last year. The suspensions ranged between three months and one year. Dubai municipality is urging the public to cooperate in preventing smoking in public areas. This is in accordance to the Council of Ministers Resolution No. 24 of 2013 and regulations under Federal Law No. 15 of 2009 on tobacco control. The campaign aims to further combat smoking in the Emirate, to build a healthy and safe community with a clean environment, free of tobacco toxins. The civic body is calling on all members of the community and concerned parties to cooperate with the implementation of the resolution following reports of violations from across the city. Dubai municipality reiterated its full support and cooperation with all parties to implement the provisions of the resolution. The law prohibits smoking in public areas such as malls and shops, as well as inside vehicles with children aged below 12. The sale of cigarettes to those under the age of 18 near schools, residential areas and mosques is also prohibited. Those found flouting the law will face heavy fines. The capital's beaches have increasingly become a popular attraction among many residents as Abu Dhabi municipality has revealed that over 2 million people used the beaches during H1 this year. 
According to the municipality, the Abu Dhabi Corniche, Al Batin and Ladies Beaches attracted about 2 million visitors during the first half of this year. Eid al Fitr alone attracted more than 30,000 visitors, which includes 23,000 visiting the Corniche, while 7,000 flocked over to the Al Batin and Ladies Beaches. Longer public sector holidays, together with high number of visitor arrivals from the GCC, could have also contributed towards the large gatherings of the capital's beaches. Swimming was also one of the most popular activities, as according to the figures, 1.6 million swam the Abu Dhabi waters during H1 this year. And finally, looking to other news. In addition for its record of many firsts, Dubai is currently hosting the world premiere of Angry Birds Universe. Based on the popular game that took the world by storm, organizers say that it is a unique interactive zone at Modesh World. With the theme, the art and science behind a global phenomenon, Angry Birds Universe is the main Dubai Summer Surprises event. President and CEO of Imagine Exhibitions Incorporated, Tom Zala, says their concept of combining fun and education is spread across 30 hands-on activities available at the zone. There are different dedicated zones that offer a host of activities from the cave studio where children may experience what it's like to design artwork from animation and music for the Angry Birds games and cartoons to the slingshots and crown mountains where children and adults become the actual bird. Zala says they are confident they will capture everyone's imagination as well as get parents and adults engaged. The collaboration between Rovio and Imagine Exhibitions has chosen Dubai to be its international launch pad. We selected Dubai over many other cities. You know, Dubai is known for its first, so it seems appropriate to have a world premiere here in Dubai. Um, the exhibition is a combination of fun, entertainment, and education. The messaging behind each of the different activities is based on STEM initiatives, so science, technology, engineering, art, and math. So as you come as a, you know, as a family, uh, parents can come with their children, uh, talk about, you know, obviously the game is fun. So they recognize the game, they can take their pictures by the big characters, they can shoot slingshots, which is super fun. You build structures, ride zip lines. But if they read the messaging about friction or about uh, balance or about shooting a rocket, um, it's, it's a great mix of both for families. But it's amazing. It's amazing for the kids. I mean, like, they got the chance to play with, like, to be the Angry Birds itself. So. The Angry Birds is more powerful than the, the, and then the green Angry Birds. In keeping with the celebration of Modesh World's 15 years, Dubai Festivals and Retail Establishment Events and Festival Director Sohaila Gabash says the Angry Birds universe is pro pro proving to be a very popular concept, especially for families. We would like to invite more children and more parents to come to Mutish World. It's a, a fun summer experience. Uh, you know, it's uh, at least parents spend two to three hours daily here with their kids, which is something good and positive. That means they're happy, they're enjoying, and it's a safe environment. So we are welcoming them all to come back and who haven't been here to come and, and join us.